Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how to up um rebooting after you unlock bootloader and latest MTK phones, especially easy buy models. So let's get started. No need wasting your time. I'll just unlock the bootloader, then show you the routine of the thing. I'm unlocking the bootloader with uh, unlock tools. So, So before you proceed, you need to download latest fast boots and ADB from Kobo. I can also put the link for that. Then I'm unlocking the bootloader here. This infinite is SCC 5B or 12i. So before you proceed, you have to power off the device. By now you have you are supposed to have formatted the phone and it's a brand new phone now. So you have to power off the device. Then you hold volume up and volume down. If it's broom, but if it's test point, you can connect the test points of the phone before you plug in the USB cable. So, bootloader unlocking done now. So, when you put the device, it will be rebooted. So, no need to panic. If you do this or with CM2 and you are experiencing this error, nothing much. Just relock the bootloader with unlock to see the option here. Relock bootloader. You click relock bootloader. The device is unable to boot. To boot, boot, then uh, uh, it will reboot again. It, it will reboot again. If you keep on waiting, it will continue like that until the device is off. So, no need to panic. Then relock the bootloader. To power off the device, hold the volume up, volume key, and power key together, or you can lose the phone and unclip the battery. Then you hold the boot key or test point to relock the boot loader. So boot loader lock successful. Now the phone can boot normal, but the boot loader is no longer unlocked. So to fix the rebooting issue, you have to minimize your unlock tool. Then I told you before that you download the test fast boot and ADB. You have to download the test fast boot and ADB. Yeah, minimal ADB fast boot. This is the latest version. You download it, then extract it and install it in your PC. You install it in your PC after installing, then you launch the tool. Then, before you proceed with the phone, you have to enable USB debugging. You will enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. To do that, you have to tap on return number seven times. Open your phone setting. Go to the place they write about the phone, then you will see um, the data number. Then you type on the data number seven times. Then you will see option that you are now a developer. Then you go back, then open developers option under the, the list setting. That is the Android setting. You will see developers option after you have enabled it. Then you open developers option. Then you enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Once you are done, then you are good to go. Meanwhile, you have already installed Fastboot and ADB in your system. As I did, then you open the terminal like this.
I'm waiting for my device to boot, so you have to wait until your boot is completed so that I can enable USB debugging before we proceed. So I'm done. Then you have to type ADB devices. So you put your phone in fast boot mode. That's reboot to boot loader. Then you plug in your device and you type fast boot devices. Fast boot devices. Then you press enter. It will show you the list of fast boot devices in your system. Then you can type fast boot flashing on login. Fast boot flashing unlock. Let's enter. Then you wait. You will see your phone to press volume up to void warranty and volume down to on, not, do not unlock bootloader. So you have to press volume up. Then you wait. It's completed. Then you type fast boot reboot. Has boot reboot. So your device will reboot successfully. So now your bootloader have unlocked successfully. Then you can continue your easy buy something something or any other thing you want to do. Thank you for choosing Dynasonic. Please subscribe to my channel for another video.